So I was here in 2003, 2007, which was some time ago. And of course, the winemaking has got so much more sophisticated, as it has, one has to say, in the rest of the world. You know, there's no obvious oak. There's absolutely no obvious alcohol. Um, there's a kind of appreciation that wine has to be refreshing rather than just impressive and knock you over the head, which is great. Um, and what, just let me think. As I was tasting the Shiraz class, I was hoping for a little more freshness in the Shirazes, a few more maybe North Rhone attempts, let's not say copies. And there weren't so many of those. Um, in fact, there were very few. And there was still maybe slightly erring on the side of um, mass. But I've just been tasting the ones we gave gold to, and they were really, really impressive in different styles. So that's good. Um, I didn't see, among the golds, um, I didn't see signs of greenness, which has always been a bit of a problem under ripeness in, in South African reds. I still think the whites in the world scale of things are um, more attention grabbing, more worthy of a, of a place on the international table perhaps than the reds, but the reds are definitely coming along. Um, but it, maybe it's your lovely ocean influence that is giving us that beautiful freshness in your whites. And of course, you've got all those beautiful old vine chenins to, to play with. 